hi guys welcome to this extra video today i'm going to tell you guys all about the time sam and i got divorced I told you about how I knew Stella was our horse even before we bought her even before we went to go and see her I knew we were gonna be buying her and um, today I want to tell you guys the story about how Sam and I got divorced so like almost every bad and good thing that happens to me I dreamed it I was sound asleep it was early morning usually that's when I dream is just before I wake up if you guys hear uh, sounds it's storm I'm in the barn and he's decided that um, lunchtime is now, so he's having some hay. Anyway, so I was sound asleep and I dreamed it and I dreamed that Sam and I got divorced, that, that we were gonna get divorced. I, Noah, sooner dreamed it than I burst awake. I burst awake with the realization that I knew that this was gonna happen. Like, I often dream things that come true and when I do dream them, I, it's usually associated with a feeling that I have and I could feel that this dream was going to be accurate and going to be real and I was devastated. I was so sad when I woke up. I I I was beside myself. I was so upset and I immediately went to the first conclusion that you would naturally go to that of course if we were going to get divorced, it was going to be Sam's fault. And so I did what any self-respecting wife would do. I rolled over and I stared at him, peacefully snoring beside me, and I was so angry. I was so mad. Like, I just couldn't imagine what he was going to do to cause us to get divorced. So I rolled over and I stared at him and I watched him sleeping and I had tears in my eyes and I was so, so upset. I kind of nudged him a little with my hand because I was so frustrated that he would cause us to get a divorce. As soon as he opened his eyes, I told him, I said, Sam, we're getting a divorce. And he just rolled his eyes and looked at me. He knows that when I dream, it, it usually comes true. He doesn't tend to get as worked up about my dreams as I do, but I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is my marriage that was at stake. This is this is my kids that was at stake. Okay, Storm, you're not in the video. This video is not about you. This is not about you. Go away. I, I have um, a magic tool here that gets horses away. I just lift it up. This is my fly spray. Do a little spray. And then he should back away. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> anyway. So I was laying there in bed, so upset and so sad for my girls, so sad. And I said to him, Sam, do you not understand what this is gonna do to our children? And he was like, oh my gosh, you are crazy. I think he really thought I was crazy. But I knew we were gonna get divorced. So we were actually in the process of moving when I had this dream. We were moving house. We used to own this big, huge, beautiful 3,200 square foot home, which was a big piece of my heart. I love that house. I'm gonna insert pictures. Most of the pictures that I have um, are from my, one of my son's weddings, so there's a bunch of people in them. Just disregard the people and look at the house. But we had a huge garden in the back, and we had a nice in-ground pool. We had a little pool house, a couple of garages for Sam to put his stuff in. Um, it was, I thought, my dream house. But in on the pursuit of us finding a farm, we moved, and um, it was my job that day to um, finish packing up the house and to call all of our utility companies to um, hook everything up for our other house because we were so close to moving and we needed to have um, electricity and gas and water all hooked up before we could move in. So. Um, we got on with our day and I was still sad. I tried to put it behind myself because you can't live like that. You can't just be sad and devastated all day for months and months just because of a dream. And so I did just put it behind me. I, 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 it was a sad day for me though. Eventually I stopped worrying about it and stopped stressing about it and started thinking, you know, maybe I misunderstood the dream. Maybe it was symbolic. Maybe, maybe we're not going to get divorced. That's what I tend to do when I have a dream that it's something that I don't want to happen. So I went about my business and a, um, a little after lunch, I ended up calling the gas company and the water company and finally the electric company. And I was explaining to them, you know, I need to put, um, all of the 
I need to turn on the electricity in our new house. So I was explaining to the lady what I needed. I needed to turn on the electricity in our new house before we moved. And she said, okay, so which address are we turning off? And um, I said, well, we're gonna actually, we're not quite moving. Like we weren't ready to move out of the old house completely before we moved into the other house. So I wanted to have electricity in both houses at the same time. And, and she told me, Oh, we, we don't do that. It's either like one or the other. You can't have uh, electricity in two different houses um, in the same name. And I was like, well, what do you mean? Like, that's just crazy. Why, why can't I? They're both my houses. I want to have electricity. And so I tried arguing with her and that did not go very well. So finally I was like, okay, fine. And I hung up. And it was just as I was hanging up that I got this amazing, incredible idea. I phoned back right away, hoping I would get a different operator and I did. And so when she picked up and she said, hello, how can I help you? I proceeded to tell her, you know, I need to turn the electricity on in my new house, um, but I want to keep it on in my old house as well. And before she could tell me that that isn't possible, Gabby, before she could tell me that that was impossible, I explained the situation. I explained how my husband and I were divorced and he was keeping the other house and I was moving to the new house and so I needed electricity to be left on in both the houses and she said oh okay um, I absolutely can do that for you let me do it now and she hooked up our electricity and so by the end of the day Sam and I officially were divorced so yeah my dream did come true it was kind of symbolic but before the before that day ended, I was telling somebody that Sam and I were divorced. And that dream is monumental in my spiritual growth because it taught me that God knows the whole picture. He knows what's gonna happen today. He knows what's gonna happen tomorrow and in 10 years and he knows when you're gonna die. He knows what you're here to achieve. He has a plan, he knows everything. And um, when God told me that I was gonna be divorced, I needed not worry and stress. I needed to embrace that he knows what's best and he knows the whole picture. And I wish I'd taken that that route instead of all the worry because I waste a lot of hours, a lot of time every single day worrying and stressing when I really don't need to. And um, in the end, what happened was perfect. I wanted to share this story with you guys because I know some of you guys are like me and that you worry and you stress. And I want to encourage you to trust more. All of us have a unique path. There's only one us on this whole entire world. God knows what we need. He knows what's best. Um, and all we need to do is just trust and have faith. And I know it is hard to have faith, but um, the more faith you have, the easier it becomes. Well, anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The girls are out there fly spraying their horses. We are going to get ready to um, uh, groom our horses. It's something I like to, us to do every single day. It makes me feel peaceful. Anyway, that is it. I just wanted to share that little story because sometimes God gives us what we need to hear through somebody else. And if I can be an inspiration to somebody else and give them the message that God intends for them to hear, then I want to be open to that and to do that for him. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.